class. I want to introduce myself. I, Shana Zamal, your ICT teacher, Milestone College. Let's start today's class. My dear students, before starting the new lesson, I want to ask you some question from previous class. Yes, previous class we have discussed lesson 4 and it's very important to learn previous lesson. Okay, so let's start the question. Question number 1, which year the concept of virtual office start working? See here the word concept. So you have to remember that concept start working from 19. What is the time? Yes, it is 1994. And first it was discussed in 1983. Number two, tell two advantages of virtual office. Can you remember? Yes. Yes, you were right. There is not only two advantages, there is many more advantages. So first one we can tell that you need not to present in the office physically and number two we can tell no extra costing or not required any conventional office uh, you need not to present there physically many more advantages are there coming number three question what are the facilities you may get from the call center can you remember yes very good good answer yes we are solving our different problem or queries any type of troubleshooting problem also you can ask them and they give you the solution phone number if you want to set up a paperless office what are the required necessaries so uh, you are using now paperless office so what are you required okay you require a computer you require internet connection and what is the last one what yes little bit skill you got that point last class we have discussed this point and last See the five number question. What is the difference between virtual office and conventional office? Yes, we know virtual office you need not to go physically. Whereas in the conventional office you have to present physically. And you have to maintain the time also. Now come in next question. Next term. Yes, students. Today's class we will discuss chapter 1 lesson 5. And the name of the lesson is ICT in Workplace. And today's class will discuss about robot, drone aircraft, automatic car, office management, call center, accounts management. These few points. So let's start today's class. Oh, before that, are you ready, are you ready with your books? Classwork or pen? Okay, very good. I know you are very much attentive student. So, let's start. The first topic is robot. And all of you know about robot. Isn't it? And you watch the robot also. So, what do you think? Watching the robot. Yes, robot is an automatically operated machine that replaces human effort True, it may not resemble human beings in appearance or perform functions in a human-like manner. That means it will work like a human-like, human-alike. It's just human-alike. We are taking the advantages from a uh, robot. You know, in our surrounding there is different risky work. So we don't like to take the risk anymore because of valuation of human life so that we are taking different advantages from the robot 
now i will show you one video about the robot actually uh, how they are performing what's the update what is the human like behavior they have after watching the video you can understand very clearly way to enhance your visitor's experience with pepper as host the way you attract connect engage and inform your visitors will never be the same if you customize the journey pepper takes care of the rest control what pepper Dear students, I told you that uh, there is some advantages of using robot. So you see here, what are the advantages? I am giving here detail because it's very much important to know uh, the advantages of robot. And I will discuss some of the question where you need to know about the advantages of robot. So the first point is the safety. Let's check that safety is the most obvious advantages of utilizing robotics. Heavy machinery that runs at hot temperature and sharp objects can easily injure a human being. Employee who work dangerous job will be thankful that robot can remove some of the risks. So that you are clear that the risky work, heavy machinery work, that was very much dangerous for human activities. Robot remove the problem and make the work easier. Next point, speed. Robot don't get distracted or need to take breaks. Yes, robot will not take break. Why? Okay, you know, because it's not not become tired it's the machine only a robot will never feel stressed out and start running slower robot can work at the uh, all the time and this speeds up production that means 
when we human being become tired we have become slower we feel hunger what is uh, not applicable for robot so that robot can work 24 hour but as a human being you cannot work more than eight hours you become tired you need rest you need food okay coming next point it is consistency robots never need to divide their attention between a multitude of things they wouldn't have unexpected emergencies and they don't need to be relocated to complete a different time sensitive task automation is typically far more reliable than human labor yes in that case they have the consistency of work in case of human sometimes we become tired sometimes we become sick so there is some breakup of work it's uh, stop the consistency of work whereas if you are using robot or machineries robot machineries you can go through faster come in the next point perfection yeah as a human being we try to work perfectly but robot can work more perfectly because you set up the program it will not make mistake okay robot will always deliver quality Robots are simultaneously an employee and a quality control system. Yes, that's quality work. The work we are using, robot can do it perfectly. Job creation. Robots don't take away. Robot need people for monitoring and supervision. They will have their for the advancement and they will have the unique opportunity to develop a new set of technology or engineering related skill that means we are thinking if robots are working that human job sector will be reduced but no whenever you are using robot in that case you have to maintain them maintenance job and it also created different new jobs job sector for human dear student now i will discuss drone aircraft yes drone aircraft is the another most important technology most developed technology in the modern world you see that uh, different photo we are taking from the upper sky okay that is in the not in the surface okay in that case robot is sorry in that case drone aircraft is very much popular so what it is yes drone aircraft an unnamed unmanned aerial vehicle is an aircraft without a human pilot on board that means they are not using any human it is just depend on the machineries and control by a rudder signal and we are calling it is aerial vehicle the term drone usually refers to any unpiloted aircraft got it already that means there is no pilot you know in case of worst situation if we are using pilot human so their life risk is there and different world nowadays uh, scientists are just sending making the new aircraft and it's using so uav full form that is unmanned aerial vehicle so this drone required a ground based controller and a system of communication these two things is very much important for a drone aircraft because uh, you have need control because it's a machine and this communication system must be very uh, fluent you can tell fluent uninterrupted 
students we know the use of drone and we are using the drone actually and there is some advantages you know if we are not getting any advantages why we will use this drone I think you saw the drone several times and you also know the advantages after that I want to show you see first one hanging at the same height as long as necessary to take desired photo that means you are hanging as your uh, choose or whatever the height you like you can hang there and you can take desired photo then rotating and shooting in any direction it will it's actually movable it will rotate and can take video or photo from any direction high resolution image and you are taking photo from very high uh, uh, height okay from that above from surface in that case the resolution of image will not destruct it no vibration and no fuzzy photo you see there will be no vibration and the photo will be very clear whenever you are using the drone coming next point take photos at any time of the days and any season yes that you have you cannot take if you think how i will take photo in the rainy season no it will be waterproof and you can take photos also and any time next point access to image for drone is immediate yes instantly you are getting the peak that like phone we are taking peak and we are that observed it instantly like that and second last point cheaper to buy than regular airplanes yes it's too difficult think about your plan so in case of robot you can purchase this one anytime and the last point great alternative to satellite image yes satellite can take very clear picture we know but some of sometimes it's quite difficult to collect photo from satellite so that we can use drone aircraft instead of satellite pig my dear student uh, now i'm going to show you one video about drone aircraft how it's working actually i think you get use fun and it's very much important video for you let's take the video just here, and this guy's called Spark, and um, he takes some pretty good aerial footage. I don't know if you've seen any, looks pretty decent. But a lot of people ask me the science of how drones actually fly. I don't know if they're just making small talk or whether they're genuinely curious, but I've made it a video now, so you have to learn, so suck on that. So I'm just going to look at the simple physics of how drones fly. Okay, so this drone is a quadcopter, which has four rotors that are all connected to individual motors, allowing them to move at different speeds. The two diagonal rotors will rotate clockwise, while the other two diagonal motors will rotate anti-clockwise. The two opposite rotations balance out and keep the drone steady. When the rotors spin together, they push down on the air, and the air pushes back up on the rotors. When the rotors spin fast, the drone lifts up into the sky, and when the rotors slow down, the drone will descend towards the ground. Hopefully not the water. Drones don't fly so well in water. When you want the drone to turn, you slow down two of the diagonal motors and you speed up the other two diagonal motors. Remember how the motors next to each other are speeding in opposite directions. So by slowing down two going one direction and speeding up two going the other direction, the lift will remain constant so the drone doesn't change height, but the angular momentum is increased so the drone will turn in place. If you want the drone to move forwards or backwards, you slow down two rotors on one side of the drone and speed up the two rotors on the other side. The drone will tip slightly towards the slower side and move in that direction. Hey, we're moving forward. If you want to move sideways or backwards, we just use the same principle on the other sides of the drone. And the way we control the rotor speeds of the drone is by using the joysticks on the remote, which work to increase or decrease the voltage being delivered from the battery to each of the four rotors. If a motor is getting more voltage, it's going to go faster. 
Also, drones are powered by lithium-ion batteries, and it's really important to maintain healthy batteries so you can get maximum flight time. Check out my video on battery life if you want to maximize the batteries for your drone. Finally, a lot of drones have a built-in GPS, so they know exactly where they are. If for some reason your remote control disconnects from the drone, it knows to fly straight back to where it came from. Although, sometimes they don't do that, they just fly away. And that's really bad. Drones are pretty sweet, and you can get some amazing aerial footage. But, they're also a little bit scary, and if something goes wrong, you can freak out. Overall, drones are an amazing tool to have. Now that you know the science behind how they fly, you're pretty much a drone expert, so... Happy drones! Automatic car. What it is? Automatic car. Automatic car is an automobile with an automatic transmission that doesn't require a driver to shift gear manually. Yes, uh, usually un we know whenever we are going to use a car, we are go you we need a driver actually. But in case of automatic car, there is some facilities that you didn't need any actually doesn't require a driver you yourself if you have knowledge some knowledge about driving you can drive the car okay there is no manual system and it's just very much easier for you whenever you are you want to drive the car and you know there is many more accident is there nowadays whenever we are uh, watching the television or news we found there is the news of accident so automatic car uh, will help you to reduce the accident also and it is a future vehicle that's very much update technology so what are the advantages we are going to found or we are getting yet from the automatic car let's check no physical lever or manpower is required yes you need not to work physically here easy to handle portable cheap and less weight yes it's very much uh, cheap anybody can purchase if they want and lightweight there is not heavy actually as a car that automatic car is not much heavy and uh, it's a direction system automatically you can drive this one now come in another important topic it is office management you can tell me miss why it is much um, important point yes it is a time of technology and uh, it's already said of the running the official communication through information technology but the official meeting we are telling meeting are now held in the using the technology too yes my dear student during this situation like this COVID situation we are also doing such kind of meeting using the technology and uh, you know that our class is running through the technology also official meeting we are completing through using the technology so let's check the slide once a time office management is a profession involving the design implementation evolution and maintenance of the process of work within an office yes it's a within an office whenever you are working the official work and we can tell an electronic file can move from one place to another in a moment whenever you are using the technology and whenever you are using the technology as a worker or as an officer or as a manager you are getting some of the facilities okay and for the office management you are not asking me miss uh, what are the things actually we require when i want to manage the office using technology yes very simple in your office you are using the computer you will use computer there will be internet connection and there is uh, you can you will be involved with your office all of your client or all of your branches through intranet and you can send messages through internet you can receive email so office management become very much easier whenever you are using the technology and I gave here some of the benefits of office management whenever you are going through 
going through technology number one increased productivity less paperwork and can be quickly reshaped money saved and the last one officials of different office make conference sitting their own workroom yes actually whenever you are using the technology that is you are not work physically you are work actually mentally your intelligence your uh, genius attitude will help to make the office management system more unique okay so office management system that time become more easier my dear students now you see we will discuss e classroom and this is the time actually when we are very much habituated to use that e classroom because corona is the situation which help us to introduce this type of classroom previously we just was in the classroom we know it is e classroom but now we know how to participate in the e classroom very well so what is e classroom electronic classroom create new opportunities in teacher and learning by integrating computer multimedia audio visual and networking technology it's the e classroom and the definition is very much clear where you are also involved clearly with the technology teachers are also involved with the technology and for e classroom it's required video projector sound system blue ray players what it is it can be cd or dvd and lastly document cameras so these are the few things you need to enter our e classroom and here i'm showing some advantages of e classroom see different learning styles are addresses yes here we are sharing we are sharing different style of learning previously that was not used development of computer and internet skill obviously don't you think that you are much skilled than previous time when you were accessing the internet or when you were presenting the classroom yes i know you are the student become very much uh, interested now to learn something new number 3 innumerable people of the country will attend the class actually not only your country worldwide students can attend the class builds self knowledge and self confidence how as a student or as a teacher or you think whenever we are using the technology and we are become skilled it help to increase our knowledge and whenever you know the thing it will also increase your self confidence develop your self confidence if you know the word you will be confident and the second last point encourage student to take responsibility for their learning yes in case of e classroom students are also responsible because we are you are watching the videos you are learning something you are writing as your own responsibility that you are doing the e classroom now we are giving you lesson we are providing you videos what are you doing in your own sense common sense you are watching the video and at the same time you are presenting next day that one and the last point adds to the classroom environment also you are getting a flavor of the classroom so these are the advantages of e classroom my dear student we have discussed many points so that are very much important and you know without this technology that i discussed in today's class you cannot move even and these are very much important for each of you and me also so see the related question 
I think if you are performing the class or watch the video clearly and if you read your textbook you can realize you can you search out the answer yourself see question number one make a list of what you require to make a virtual classroom in your school here you will write what are the required necessaries to make a virtual classroom number two how can robot help human to get released from risky job explain yes my dear student here you will write uh, you can write the advantages of robot that you how you can get released from the risky job number three write about aircraft which do not have any pilot yes which do not have any pilot firstly you will write this answer yes it is drone aircraft which do not require any pilot or which can fly without a pilot which is called drone aircrafts and after that you will write the advantages or what you know about the drone aircraft clear I want to give you some homework you see it is learn and write homework and you will learn and write question number two and three that I gave you my dear student you have learned many more things from today's class isn't it I need to check actually how much you have learned from today's class can you give me some question answer okay very good then check it one number question what is drone aircraft very easy answer yes the aircraft flies in the sky without a pilot it's called drone aircraft number two what is e-classroom tell me what is e-classroom yes it's the classroom where the whole world student can attend and teachers are involving sharing their experience through the technology that time we can tell it is e-classroom very good then three number question tell two advantage of using robot yes i told you okay i got the point yes first point you will tell that it release the risk of human and second point you can tell uh, it can what it do not have any tiredness stressless it can continue the working consistency very easy answer yes for number how does official work become more faster can you remember yes whenever you are using internet official work will be more faster and whenever you are using technology to manage your system that time also official work become more faster my dear student i hope you all know the answer okay thank you for answering all the question Dear student, hope you have enjoyed the class and you are so happy, I know, because you got some virtual gift. If there is any more question in your mind, obviously write in the comment section. I will try to give answer. Take care. Allah Hafiz.